as you can tell from my last video, if you watched it, I uh, wasn't able to edit it because my computer is just tripping out and um, I can't fix it. I ain't got time to fix it. You know, I've worked all day today and I don't have time to fuck around with it at night when I'm tired, you know. <laughs> um, so I've been uplo I uploaded, uploaded the last video just directly from my phone and um, I'm not able to edit it so like I couldn't put like two pieces of video together like I usually do if I do need to uh, I'm not able to do that on my phone so um, I just I made a vlog before this and then whenever someone calls me it cuts my camera off so my mom called me so I had to just redo this vlog so hopefully I don't have to redo it a third time because um, I can't edit and put them together but what I was saying was we put up 98 foot pickets today and it took it took all all from what it took about from two o'clock till seven to get all 90 up and of course we stop for breaks ever occasionally you know but um yeah we, you have to make sure that it's you know we ran a string line we had to make sure it's all plumb on top and um it was me and jared who's been doing it tom showed us how to do it so me and jared did it so every time we'd put up a, a picket, I would use the level to see. And um, there was really no avoiding. The level never really moved, but it was never really in the middle. Because down through there is a lot of wet ground. And it's also down, it's also at an incline or decline, whatever. So um, it was difficult for us to get it up there, get it nailed in, because somebody had to step back and look, see if it was touching the string or not. And then the person with the nail gun really had to hold the board and do everything. So it was, it, I tried to help him out as much as I could. So if he needed me to hold it or push it with my foot, I did. But, um, yeah, so everything, I don't know. I don't remember if I vlogged and told y'all, but I got the new AC unit. Inside and outside had to be replaced. And I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to cost any more money, right? Well, it was unavoidable. We had to do it. it the other one was just broke. Useless. So that was $3,500. And that was for the inside, outside, and the person to do it. And we actually got a good deal because we're friends, family friends with the air conditioner man. Well, we got AC in. I did some electrical work, and so almost all of the electric is done by me. And um, got the fence in. So I found out that we need 90 more, probably 90 more pickets than we already ordered. We're already, it's a $900 fence, $1,000 fence already. And we found out we need more wood. More pickets. Skip it. Don't you run to that vehicle. She's over there using the bathroom, playing in the yard. She gets scared and runs back over here. She's so cute. But, um, I don't know where I'm going to come up with like $300, 300 more dollars to buy more pickets. And all day today, people fucked with us, drove drove around, drove around, watching us, standing, staring, watching. I know who the fuck you are. They think we're building that fence because we don't want them to see what we're doing. That's not the fucking case. We're building that fence for privacy. I'm building the fence because I have animals. I want to let them out and not have to worry about them getting run over or stolen. And people have been fucking with us. Well, I just, I'm telling you, they don't want to make me mad. Because I'll build, I'll put something in that parking lot 100 foot high. Something, I don't know. It, it won't be good if they want to continue to fuck with me. But anyways, um, my grandparents left for the local fish. It's called Fisherman's Cove. And it's over in Nashville. It's about 10 miles away. And uh, they have the buffet. So it's like all-you-can-eat buffet. There's 
huge butterfly shrimp. I'm talking the butterfly shrimp is like that big. And um, all you can eat. So there's butterfly shrimp, there's fish, there's, you know, fried fish, baked fish, everything you can think of to go with fish. Uh, there's, they put, let's see what else they put on the buffet. I like Alfredo noodles and everything you can think of is on that buffet, okay? And uh, so they headed over there and, ooh, skip it, land, skip it, landed on my cigarette I didn't put out. I hope it didn't burn her toe. But, um, anyways, they're headed over there to eat and they're going to bring me back some shrimp. Well, hopefully they bring me back like shrimp, hush puppies, and some french fries because I need to cheat. I haven't eaten anything all day. Um, I wake up with nausea and really not 100% sure why that's happening. Um, I really haven't gotten it looked at. But I wake up every day with nausea. And I bet sometimes I can't even drink a cup of coffee. So I haven't eaten anything all day. I don't really have an appetite. I have to come home and sit and take a little bit and before I even get an appetite so hopefully they get back soon they'll probably be over there a good hour and a half they don't eat 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 no they all eat they we all get one plate if we ever go we only get one plate of food and maybe like a little bowl of gumbo or a salad we don't go and sit and eat plate after plate after plate we just don't do that because you don't need it and we we can't eat like that our stomachs are too small um, we really, we're all on a diet, really, so we just don't eat that much. And my grandparents eat out a lot, but I don't eat out hardly ever anymore. If I go to Sonic, it's going to be for something to drink. But anyways, seven minutes, it, it's going to take forever to upload this vlog, vlog. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on for today, day 82. Today is day 82, I think, so... Um, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.